Hello everyone, so actually after finishing the recording of the new live trading video uh, Angela has sent the results of the Extreme Trader Premium Signals group and I'm so very proud and happy for what I'm seeing right here I just wanted to share with you this before I upload the video of the live trading video we can see that we have sent uh, these four signals and we can notice here that Angela has sent the, the announcement that the EuroCAD hit the tech profit level uh, number one with 30 pips and uh, AUD USD hit the tech profit one level with 20 pips USD CHF tech profit one with 20 pips and later on USD CHF has reached tech profit two with 50 pips not to mention that we have sent the announcement to close all the trades uh, because uh, there will be some news about the USD and the CAD uh, pairs in few minutes notice something that the loss only was on the cat chef with five pips of loss only so really the members for sure are very glad and it was a good day for the members uh it was a good week so far and i really hope this week is gonna continue to be very good like this one really amazing results thank you angela for making me so proud of extreme trader premium signals group fantastic job and i'm really happy for the members who have joined and enjoyed the signals today so if you wish to join the extreme trader premium signals group please don't hesitate to contact angela you can find the contact details of her in, te uh, in telegram in the description below this video click the link and it will take you directly to Angela so you can uh, talk to her about how to join the extreme trader premium signals group very good evening guys how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so again welcome on this new live trading video and of course in this video we're going to use the 20 pips a day strategy now of course you might have noticed that I placed the trade very quickly and yes actually once I saw this uh, setup I decided why not to record the video um, if you can see guys this is very obvious setup actually we can notice here that the, on the pound GPY we had here a previous resistance level and that resistance has been recently being broken out by this bullish breakout candle and right now not only that of course we can notice that this sub, uh, previous resistance has become a new support and that is indeed a support number one and right now the candle is visiting the, the for the first time the support number two so that is actually the same bound or, or the first bouncing from support number two that is what i'm aiming i'm just aiming the bounces from the hitting the support level if we go to the 15 minute time frame we can see that indeed that is the first candle to touch the support level number two so let me now set my take profit level to be at 20 pips only fantastic and here we are having the 20 pips target we are aiming as we can see i have placed my trade right on this support level and the nearest support to my entry is actually laying right here however just to not be greedy i set my take profit uh, to be exactly 20 pips instead of higher than that actually can be 23 pips um, it's not worth it to risk losing the 20 pips uh, just to earn three pips extra therefore i have accepted this one and i'm gonna keep it now of course uh, let me just show you something for those who are watching uh, this uh, channel for the very first time let me just show you what kind of strategy you are using in this video just hold on one second so this is my channel on youtube and if you scroll down keep scrolling keep scrolling keep scrolling keeps sc okay we can see the strategy this is the video forex strategy 20 pips a day and every time i see the number of the views it just kills me 29,000 views only guys are you serious come on this th this is perfect i mean that is one of the best strategies in forex of all time it has only 29,000 views meanwhile uh, a video of hit and run it has 49,000 views and the best strategy using Ichimoku using th having only 34,000 uh, I mean this is the best one among all of them this one is better than hit and run and better than Ichimoku however this one has a lower view rate I have no idea why only God himself know the reason anyway 
um, that is guys the video you need to watch if you are new on this channel I highly recommend you to watch it to understand what kind of strategy I'm using right now in this video and you can see that red is giving me so far uh, $30 of profit which is fantastic so meanwhile let me just uh, try to find another setup I can enter and I can see okay this is very interesting uh, pound CHF the pound CHF is actually on a good setup however I'm not going to enter this trade I wish everyone know the answer already it is very simple remember we are right now on the 4 hour chart now what we can see on the pound CHF is a very simple breakout candle the bullish breakout candle then we are seeing right here a support number 1 and right, right here the market is on a support number 2 but the question is can I place the buy order right here hmm I'm not gonna do it let me tell you why switch to the 30 minute time frame check out this happened what happened guys so on the 30 minute time frame we can notice clearly that right here we are having the support number one and here we can see how many times the candles has reversed on support number two on the 30 minute time frame that is very important because my strategy actually aiming the bounces from hitting the levels so once the candle actually go down all the way to hit the support number two I'm profiting from this bounce the bouncing just the reaction of the candle after touching this level look at that what happened uh, the candle went down here went all the way down then went up here reversed and go all the way up to this level right here that is that is what what profit I am making from this strategy now seeing the candles has made so many attempts on this support level telling me is do not enter this trade right now that's why I'm gonna drop the trade or the setup of the pound CHF by the way I just want to see how much money we can earn from the trade of the pound GPY 56 dollars approximately 54 without the commission so that should be fine let's now wait and see any other setup I'm gonna switch to the one hour chart so hopefully we can actually start finding better setups and yes perfect fantastic for the pound used for the pound USD for the pound USD on the one hour chart actually let me go to the four hour chart maybe it will be more clear okay and the, okay the problem is that the candles are so squeezed uh, maybe 30 minutes should be more clear okay let me tell you what, through what just happened on the pound USD as you can see guys we are having here a previous resistance which has been recently broken out by this bullish breakout candle and we can see that the trend is heading up so the 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 bullish momentum is having uh, the the priority here or having the advanced the advantage on this trend therefore we can consider that this here we are having or actually all of that is considered as a support number one now what's happening is the candles now hitting again the support number two so we can see here the candle is visiting the very same level of support number one for the first time that's why I switched to the 15 minute time frame and I can see that this is the first candle to touch the level of support number two now from that point here we can start to, ha to, to actually select the profit level the take profit level and I'm gonna make it 20 pips only now actually I can make my take profit level to be on this previous support because since I have placed my buy order on this support level I can actually make my take profit level on the nearest support which is this one here however it is called the 20 pips a day strategy therefore uh, what we are actually doing in reality is aiming only one trade per day only I'm entering uh, several trades per uh, or at the same time because I am um, trading my own money and I'm recording here a live trading session for educational purposes however uh, for you you do not do you do not have to do the same what you have to do is actually just find one trade per day and enter that trade and just close your platform don't try to over trading because actually that's what's gonna make you lose your money so um, 
I have, as I said, placed the take profit level here on 20 pips only. Gonna give me approximately $60 of profit. Now let's wait and see what will gonna happen. Let me now just, uh, actually, I'm, actually I'm gonna keep my eyes on the pound USD. However, that support level is very strong. I'm expecting from the pair to reverse after hitting uh, this support here. Let me just try to find some other setup. Nothing yet here. USD CAD. USD CAD is actually approaching a good level. However, still early to enter. As we can see on the Euro on the USD CAD, we can notice right here we are having a resistance number one after this strong, very strong support level. And look at the reversal what happened. Uh, the reversal that happened after hitting the resistance number one, the candles went down immediately, indicating that this, uh, in, or actually indicating the strength of this level. So let's now wait some time until the candle actually hit this level. And I'm going to place the sell order exactly after five pips. Uh, let's just wait, guys, and see the reaction of hitting the resistance number two from the USD CAD. Um, I'm not sure if I should pause the video or not. Let me continue. Maybe I can. Whoa. Maybe I can find something else. Um, I think these are the news of the the USD, which is moving the market, and I'm gonna place the sell order right here on the USD CHF. Very good trade. Very nice trade. Uh, allow me to explain the reason, of course. As we can see, we had here, the, guys, the highest level of this resistance level. Notice that the very same level of this resistance, this one right here, has become recently a new support level. And right now, the candle is exactly on the very same level of the highest wick of this resistance. That is actually giving us the best entry possible because it is the highest level. That is the top of the peak, the, well, I don't know the term, the top of the peak or something like that of the candle. Therefore, that is actually the best entry we can have. Therefore, what I'm going to do right now is gonna select the take profit level. Uh, okay, sadly, uh, the trade of the USDGPY cannot give us more than 12 pips. Remember, we are we are entering on a support or resistance. Then we are exit the trade on the nearest support or resistance. Now, of course, where is the nearest resistance or support? It is exactly right here. That is the nearest res resistance to my entry. We can have also here the nearest support. However, if you want to be safe in your trades, just aim the nearest thing ever to you, which is right here, the nearest resistance. So the nearest, the nearest resistance is sadly just 13 pips away and therefore I have set my take profit level to be right on that level. So um, we are having right now three trades opened. The pound uh, GPY going in profit and the pound USD is still ranging and also the USD GPY I think that's enough. I don't want to risk entering more trades until we earn profits from at least one of them. So let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with all these trades. And we can see the pound USD is approaching the take profit level. It's almost there and I'm not gonna be greedy guys. It's 19 pips of profit. That's totally fine by me. And I have closed the trade with a profit of really good profit. So uh, going back to the other trades, we can see that the pound USD and the USD GPY, USD GPY is actually not going so well so far. Uh, <clears throat> we can see that the reversal has happened already, but the pair continued the rise. However, as I'm telling you always, when you are losing the trade, don't ever decide to close it with the loss and just continue analyzing the trade or the pair to know where you can expect the next reversal to happen. Now, I am here. Let me just uh, try to zoom out like that. Okay. So we can see that we are having this resistance and the pair did not respect this level. However, we can see that we are having right here also another resistance level. And not only that, but let me just uh, zoom in to show you this very interesting thing here. Check it out. Now we are having here this bearish breakout candle from that support level. That is indeed guys a support level. And the pair, and the, sorry, the candles has broken out from that support with this bearish breakout candle. 
Now, where is the nearest wick to this bearish breakout candle? It's exactly right here. That is this one right here. This small, very small tail here is the nearest one to this bearish breakout candle. Meaning the pair must likely after hitting the very same level is gonna reverse. That's how things done actually when you are expecting to, uh, the candle to reverse you need to look for the nearest wick or tail to the breakout candle and from that point you can start shorting the pair most likely is going to reverse right from that level. So now we can expect from the USDGPY to actually reverse there and if it didn't then we can close the trade with the loss. Now it's good that I have made about $46 of profit from the trade of the pound USD. So now I can trade with that profit. Now I'm gonna risk $49 on the next trade. That's actually very good. We can see that the pound USD is actually going up. Nice, very good. So I'm gonna just wait to see what will gonna happen. Meanwhile, let me just try to find some other setup because the market right now is really uh, having so much volatility and I'm gonna use uh, the advantage of that to find more trades to enter. Pound USD is going so well. Um, the USD CAD, as I said right here, is reversing on that resistance level. Mm. No, no, I don't want to enter this one. Let's just try to find something else. This is the USDGPY, USDCHF. USDCHF, uh, the question is why not? Of course, why not? We are having right here a previous support level, which was of course also, let me show you that. What is this? Okay, we are having right here a previous support level, which was also uh, a previous resistance and right now the candle is approaching the very same level to become a previous resist a uh, support uh, so a new support we have to be very careful right now with this trade because we are not expecting from the pair to actually reverse and go for 60 or or, or flying up for so many pips we are just aiming the bounces from uh, touching that support level right here therefore we need to be careful right now the trade going so far in three pips of loss let me just show you something. Um, how many pips we can aim from this trade? Not much at all, maybe just nine pips, because of course, since I have placed my trade right here, I need to exit at the nearest resistance, and that is the nearest, uh, nearest resistance. Sadly, it's just only 10 pips, or actually, uh, yeah, 10 pips away. So that is actually giving you example that we cannot always aim 20 pips from every single trade. We also have to be realistic and go along with the market. So let me just go to the 15 minute time frame and see indeed that this was a good entry level. However, if you remember what I just told you, that is the breakout candle from the resistance. And this is here, the nearest wick to the breakout candle. I'm going to place another place uh, another trade right here. Just to prove you my point. One, two, three. Perfect. Fantastic. Why? Because as I said, this is guys here, this wick here is the nearest or touching the breakout candle. From that point we can expect for the market to start reversing and I wanted to prove it to you using my own money. And let's see now together how the candle hopefully is going to start reversing immediately after touching the very same level as I said to you. Let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you in a few minutes to show you what will going to happen with this trade. All right, so let me just tell you what hap what's happening right, he right here. Uh, guys, this is very important. Uh, the pound USD is actually giving us a profit of $48 and it's very close to the take profit level of uh, now 52, uh, 52, 54 dollars of profit. That's totally fine. I have taken that. However, the USD GPY uh, is actually going to be closed now with the loss. Let me just explain why. But first, I need to close it with the loss for the USD GPY. I closed with the loss of 13 pips only. Um, actually, this price action, this candle here, this breakout candle is actually usually indicating a continuation in the trend and therefore most likely what will gonna happen that the USDGPY is gonna continue the rise. Of course, 
uh, that strategy can never be uh, successful in every single trade of course it's normal that some trades will fail just like what happened now so thankfully we, are, we were able to make a profit that already have covered the losses that is actually what I'm trying to explain on my channel that you have to lose sometimes you will lose sometimes if you think that there is a strategy that can never lose then I'm serious stop trading forex it's normal we are traders we lose trades then we are making profit from the next one we always recover in case we have made the losses and that is of course how things are working in this world uh usdchf trade is going well uh we can see guys as i told you that this is exactly where the pair has reversed right from that previous uh week or the near yeah the week to the breakout candle look at that the pair has reversed exactly from that point thankfully i was able to fix my trade so it's going so well so far now both of them actually in profit of total of 16 dollars i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it running because yes look at that fantastic nice the pair is reversing and we can expect 41 dollars from the first one 27 from the second one i'm gonna just make them both on the same level so that is more safe let me just uh, go back to the one hour chart and hopefully we can find some other trades and to be honest with you 20 minutes is enough for live trading video i know guys are getting bored from the live <laughs> trading videos i think that's enough so let's just uh, see what will gonna happen with this trade and i'm gonna close it in profit both of them and just end this video and get done with it uh, it was a good example what happened in this video when we made the loss we were able to cover it immediately with another profit from different trade so to be honest with you $20 of profit I'm gonna accept both of them and just end this video because I just want to uh, end the live trading for today however it was a really good session and very informative I think for everyone and always remember guys we are traders we make money and if we lose money we, we are we are able to make more money don't ever give up don't ever think that if you lost a trade that the money is gone you can still always recover it if you are patient enough to find a better setup so in the end i really hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching